a beautiful day here at Mount Tabor Park in Portland, Oregon. This is a beloved city park, well known for its wonderful views of downtown and the sunsets over the West Hills. And it's actually my favorite part of town, but this place has a secret. Portland is famous for its parks. Tour guides will often tell you that we've got one of the largest municipal parks in the country, Forest Park. And also the smallest park in the world, Mill Ends Park downtown, but they don't often talk about the volcanoes. Maybe you already knew that Mount Tabor is a volcano, but did you know that it's one of six within city limits? There are very few cities in the United States with any volcanoes at all, and I think we've got the most. There is a suburb of Portland called Damascus that might have more, but they voted to disincorporate in 2016, so they're not really a city anymore, and I think we still win. That should go on the brochures. Pacific Northwestern geology is a huge and freaky subject that I really don't want to get into right now. Let's keep things a little bit more local and a little less terrifying. By my count, there are five cinder cone volcanoes on the east side and one shield volcano straddling the southwest border with Lake Oswego. And they've all got at least a little bit of parkland on them. So let's go. And here I am at Powell Butte. This is by far the largest of Portland's volcanic parks. It's got miles and miles of running trails, a visitor center, a bathroom, although I think that's closed for COVID, and incredible views of East Portland. There's grasslands, there's forests, there's even the reservoirs, and this is where Portland stores all of its drinking water underground. So this is, if you haven't been out here yet, you, you got it. This is amazing. This is just one of my favorite parks in Portland. I love bringing people here because they, I don't know, I think a lot of people just kind of write off East Portland and that's a huge mistake. This is an incredible amenity and part, I, I don't know, it's, it's great, I, I love it. So come check it out, come enjoy the Portland sunshine. Okay, here we are at Kelly Butte. It does seem like Portland's forgotten about this one a little bit. As you can see, there are no amenities and there's only a couple of ill-maintained trails. But if you want to get away from the crowds of Tabor or Powell Butte, this is a nice place to come. Biking up Rocky Butte. I'm not in great shape. All right, I just finished biking up to Rocky Butte and as you can see, it was absolutely worth it. This is one of the most beautiful days we've had in weeks. If you can believe it, this is the same day that I shot the Mount Tabor stuff on, so it's really cleared up. This has got to be the best panorama that you can get in all of Portland. This just goes all the way around, and I'll, I'll show some B-roll of that. If you can make it on a weekday, I think that's even better because there won't be as many crowds, but in any case, this is a place to visit. I've made it to Clatsop Butte. As you can see, this is a pretty normal looking Portland suburb with a few acres of parkland in it, but it did erupt a few thousand years ago. I'm willing to bet that this is the least well-known volcano in Portland, although it's in pretty sharp competition with Kelly Butte for that title. As you can see from these beautiful views, I am at the summit of Mount Sylvania. Actually, if we're being pedantic, I'm a few hundred feet outside of Portland city limits in the suburb of Lake Oswego. But the northern and western slopes of Mount Sylvania are within Portland, so, you know, it still counts as a volcano in Portland. And we'll end our tour back here at Mount Tabor as the sun's just coming out. I'm standing in front of one of Tabor's historic reservoirs, which used to be used to store some of Portland's drinking water, but changes to federal regulation means that these are now purely decorational. There was actually a really cool proposal by a PSU grad student a couple of years back to turn these into geothermal hot springs by tapping into the volcanic energy under Tabor, but I'm not holding my breath for that to happen anytime soon. And that's it for all the volcanoes in Portland, but if you're willing to step just a little further out into the suburbs, you'll find way more. There are over 80 volcanic vents in the Portland area, but why are they here around Portland but not in nearby cities like Seattle or Salem. Well, it turns out that Portland and its suburbs were built on a geological formation called a volcanic field, which just tends to spurt up volcanoes every now and then. This one's called the Boring Volcanic Field, but I think it's actually pretty interesting. I was surprised to learn while researching this video that there is no strict scientific distinction between a dormant and an extinct volcano. There are historic accounts of volcanoes thought to be extinct coming back to life with disastrous consequences. But don't worry about Mount Tabor or any other Portland area volcanoes erupting. These are for sure extinct because the boring volcanic field only produces monogenetic volcanoes, which is to say they only erupt once the first time. The field itself is not extinct though, and it will eventually erupt again, most likely in the northern part of the field in Washington. Scientists describe the risk as very low though, so we're okay. I don't really know what the thesis of this documentary is supposed to be. 
I am enamored with the geology of the region, but I don't think there's any sort of deep insight to be found in the trivia. You know, I guess I just think it's neat. Portland's had a really tough year. I mean, everyone's had a tough year, but, but you've seen the news. So I came here to Mount Tabor, my favorite place in my favorite place. I've come here countless times to have a picnic or watch the sunset or listen to the birds or whatever. There are so many things worth worrying about right now. But today, I, I guess I just wanted to I just wanted to share some fun facts about this place. Thank you for joining me for a little Portland sunshine.